Hello, this is Les. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I've spent the winter of 2021 building these two little four-stroke internal combustion engines. In this video, I'm going to talk about the engine on the right, which is sort of working now. Uh, and the uh, engine on the left, I will cover that in a later video. The two engines are both one half inch bore by one half inch stroke engines and they have many similar parts but as you can see the one on the right is a flathead and the one on the left is an overhead valve with the valves on the top and a push rod engine. So this is a four-stroke internal combustion engine. It uses uh, white gas with a little oil in the mixture. The engine block and crankcase is built from a piece of three-quarter inch thick aluminum with uh, brass plates on the side carburetor and exhaust are built onto one piece which is bolted onto the block. The fuel is controlled by a needle valve on the bottom and enters the throat of the carburetor. And then this valve on the top here regulates the airflow. The timing gears are external, and this little red thing on the bottom is the hall sensor. There is a little magnet on the timing gear right there. And when that goes past the hull sensor, it uh, makes a circuit that uh, creates the spark. It's a spark ignition engine. <clears throat> Obviously the fuel tank, there's a little vent hole on the end that I am able to apply oil to the connecting rod bearing and if I turn the engine upside down, I can also drip some oil up into the uh, piston and cylinder. The electronics are on the bottom. This is the spark coil. And it operates on four uh, AA batteries. I put this little notch in the flywheel pulley for starting the engine with a cord, but I found that uh, since the engine is so small, it works better to just put an O-ring on the pulley and uh, spin it over by hand like that. It took me uh, about three weeks to construct the engine and then a very long time to get it to run. And as I mentioned, it uh, still doesn't run the way I want it to. It runs for a short period of time and stop and stops. And I think that might have something to do with the spark coil that I purchased. It's for a very high speed airplane engine. And this engine runs very slow and it has automatic advance, automatic advance of the spark, which seems to create a little erratic pattern in the spark. And I'm wondering if that might be what my problem is.
So the <coughs> camshaft is connected to this gear right here. And you can see the, the push rods pushing the valves up from the bottom. They don't move very much. I think one of the main problems I had while the why the engine wouldn't run uh, was uh, compression leaking. I started out with um, just an aluminum cylinder bored in the aluminum block and uh, a solid piston and there was quite a bit of compression leak on that so as time went on I created a sleeve that I pressed in the aluminum block made from 3 16 stainless steel and uh, honed that uh, to as smooth and true as I was able to get it and then I experimented with uh, miniature piston rings. In this case, the rings are made out of brass. My intention was that once I got the engine broken in, I would remake the rings out of cast iron, which is, to my understanding, the best material. But I ultimately went to using these little o-rings they're made out of a material that can withstand temperatures up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and as long as there's a little bit of oil on them um, they should hold up pretty well they uh, make an incredible seal they almost there's almost no leakage whatsoever so then the the problem with the compression leak becomes the, uh, the head gasket and it's very thin on on the edges where the where the cylinder wall comes close and so I have a little problem with that and then also the intake and exhaust valves which are on this lower part of the block and I still have some problems with the valves uh, I cut the valve seats and the valves at uh, 45 degrees on my lathe and I tried to uh, lap them with uh, very fine grit sandpaper uh, but I'm still having a little bit of compression leak and, uh, and blowback on, on, the, on the valves. <clears throat> 